Hi guys, Roll from Simple Wi-Fi, and in this video we're going to be doing some speed tests with the PiFi in combination with the ASUS router that we sell as our recreational model and an AC1900 Netgear Nighthawk that we sell as our professional model. We'll also plug it directly into the laptop to see what kind of speeds you can get uh, when we're land directly into a laptop. But first, we're gonna cover some baselines and see where we're at with the, the ISP directly into each router. Okay, so to cover the three routers that we've got uh, in this test, the base station is a Netgear 2350, model number R7500 version two. And this is a dual band router. Okay, and these are the, and we're gonna cover everything in detail here, but basically I've got a Netgear, another Netgear, which is the one that we sell on our website as a professional model that works really well with the PiFi, and then the recreational model is the Asus. The Asus is only 2.4, and the other two Netgears I've got are dual band, so we're gonna cover each one individually. Now, for this baseline test, I set the routers to get the signal directly from my ISP, from my ISP modem. In this case, it's Comcast down in Miami. And when I did a speed test, I did uh, three speed tests and I got an average. On 2.4, I got an average of 68 down and 11.6 up. And on five gig, I actually got a lot higher, one, uh, 114, and uh, 114 down and just uh, just under 12 up. So again, this is direct from the ISP and I am doing Wi-Fi to my laptop. Now, the Netgear 9, uh, AC1900, I got 79 down and 11.6 up, so a lot better on the 2.4. Ironically, this is actually an older model uh, than the base station that we used here and just about the same uh, on the five gig, okay? So, you know, no difference on five gig for both, but, uh, you know, maybe a little bit better on 2.4 for, uh, for the AC1900. Now, the ASUS performed just as good as these expensive routers uh, on 2.4. Again, this is direct from the ISP. And the difference between these really high-end routers versus some of the cheaper ones are really how they handle users. So I'm the only person on the network right now. Uh, this is kind of to be expected. You know, you're getting only one user direct. Uh, I, it's, it's what I could have expected and could have predicted. Uh, but now where the Netgears really shine is when you have multiple people streaming, you have people using Netflix, gaming, that sort of thing. And it prioritizes people depending on their bandwidth usage. So before going into all the testing, I wanted to go over the network map just to make sure that everyone's on the same page and understand what the labeling is. So the, the internet source is going to be coming from the SSID base 2.4 and that's the really high end nice Netgear looking router with four antennas and that's going to be doing wireless to the PiFi over 2.4 gigahertz. We're then going to plug the ethernet cable from the PiFi directly into each router that we're going to test. Then each router will connect to the laptop via 2.4 gigahertz. First, we're gonna check the Pro model, which is our Netgear AC1900. And then we're gonna check the recreational model, which is our Asus. And once we're done with 2.4, we're gonna test on five gigahertz between the laptop and the Pro model Netgear, which is dual band compatible. Everything that's gonna be on this network will be on five gigahertz, but the PiFi and the base station will still be communicating on 2.4. Okay, so for this first uh, speed test, we're gonna test the ASUS on a 2.4 gigahertz network. So I've already set up my PiFi to grab the signal from my base station, and I've labeled my base station base 2.4, and I wirelessly connect my computer to the network I created on my ASUS called PiFi plus ASUS 2.4, just so it's easy to find. So I'm connected to that, and we're gonna run a speed test. So let's see how good it can do. Maybe it breaks 10. Yep. See where we can go. 9.24. Okay, it's not as strong as the original or as a signal coming direct from the ISP, but it is very usable. 
So remember, the PiFi is to get signal in a place where you didn't have it before, and five megabits up. So uh, not the fastest, but definitely uh, very, very usable compared to uh, 71 and 12. So we're almost half on the upload and much, much lower on the down. But again, this is supposed to be a long range Wi-Fi connection and uh, it's supposed to get you internet where you didn't have it before. So I guess some internet is better than none. Okay. Next, let's connect to the Netgear. Okay, so now we're gonna do a test on the Netgear 2.4 gigahertz frequency. So as you can see, <clears throat> I've created a Netgear Pi Fi Plus Netgear 2.4. I'm already connected to it. The Pi Fi is still connected to the base 2.4. And we're going to go ahead and run a speed test. So download speeds are already much better. Just uh, even though we're on the same frequency, just a different router, and this is a more high-end router that handles users better, we're getting much better download speeds and about the same uh, kind of spikes up and down. Let's see if we can get another spike out of this. Uh, we should expect close to the same upload, if not sometimes better. Okay, so 16.5 and just under three, so 16.5 and, oops, 16.5 and we'll just call it three. So next, let's switch over to, to do a speed test on five gigahertz. So nothing has changed. I'm just gonna to connect to the five gigahertz network on the same router. And let's go ahead and do a, another refresh and dramatically better speed. Uh, again, this is the same router on five gigahertz. So my, my network between my computer and my router is on five gigahertz, and then it's going 2.4 from the Pi Fi to the base station. So these are much, much better speeds on the five gigahertz network, which most new devices can use. So 36 down and 11.7 up. 36 and 11.7 so you can see it's double the speed on 2.4 coming through the pi fi and uh, almost three times as much uh, with the on the upload now it's still a a big drop off from the you know from direct from the isp but this is something that happens with every access point anytime you're bridging you're passing signal through other devices, you're always gonna have some drop off in signal. Okay, so for this next test, I've actually gone LAN between the Pi Fi and my computer, and the Pi Fi, of course, is still wireless to the base station router. So I am pl I've plugged the PoE directly into my laptop, and as you can see on my network, too, I'm connected and I don't have any Wi Fi. And our speed test is showing a much better speed than, uh, than the ASUS router, because of course I'm directly connected to it, but not as good as a five gigahertz. Now, the only drawback with this is, of course, I'm only able to use one computer through the Pi Fi. The whole idea of the Pi Fi is to grab and repeat a signal so that multiple devices can connect. But if you're ever in a bind or you're trying to just test, this is kind of what you can expect, uh, 22 and you know some poor upload speed. Uh, it's kind of interesting how the Netgear 5 gigahertz frequency actually performs a lot better. All right guys, I hope this was helpful in clarifying some expectations for how your Pi Fi will perform. Of course, uh, real world scenarios like, uh, like elevation, line of sight, distance between two locations, uh, radio interferences from other devices, all this can affect speeds and it sometimes can even improve or uh, uh, make your signal worse. All these kind of things are unique to your situation. So feel free to give us a call or email us at support at simplewifi.com. Please also like this video and subscribe to our channel. We're gonna be coming out with more and more content. And if you leave a comment down below, I answer every single comment. And uh, I will answer you on YouTube or recommend you call us or email us if you have any more technical questions, any more clarifying. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.